Hey guys, this is Lewis from Web Level Web WebDev, and today I wanted to go over the best WordPress theme that I think is out there and that I've used consistently for the past three years. I think there's a lot of confusion uh, where people are trying to figure out uh, where, which WordPress theme to to, to purchase. Um, this is, you know, when, when you're a freelance web designer or a graphic designer or, or you're just starting up a business. And right now I'm gearing this video towards freelance web designers. Um, but, you know, if you're starting a project or a business, it could work just fine too. But I think the first mistake that many people make is that they try to do the most cost efficient uh, thing possible and uh, like they go with a free theme, which is more often than not a freemium theme. So they try to they, they catch you with like a light version of the theme, and uh, there's uh, two in, two and it's very very slim uh, things that you can do with it. And usually you have to like pay to play in in a sense, and you kind of have to pay to upgrade. And uh, I think it's it's not even most mo the themes if you just pay up front. Um, like fifty dollars or something, um, uh, usually have far more functionality and far more features, and um, and that's what I want to go over today is paid theme, um, uh, which is salient and it's my favorite theme. And um, it, this this it, and it's only gonna be talking about one theme because I, I really think that if you really want to get the best out of yourself and out of a theme. It's good to just find one you really love and stick with it. And so this is my this is my ode to Salient because it's personally brought me a lot of my livelihood. I'm very thankful for it. Um, and you know, uh, I've I love the theme so much. I know it inside and out. And I've tried other themes too. Uh, I've tried many different ones. Um, but this, but Salient is definitely, definitely mine. And I definitely want, I wanted to show instead of like I see a lot of top ten videos out there, like top ten themes or top ten paid premium, whatever. Um, I, I think that's kind of, I think it's putting the cart before the horse in a, in a sense because I think the first thing you should think of is how do you want to position your brand? You know what I mean? How how do you want to? That's that's the first thing that you need to think about when starting. Is how is this brand going to position? What, what's your target audience, and how am I going to position your brand? Um, because that should really, really dictate what kind of theme you'd like to, to to go with. And so, since I'm directing this towards other web developers and uh, other freelance designers, or people who that are just thinking about getting into freelance um, web design, I really, really highly encourage you just pay that. I think it's even like forty-five dollars right now. He's doing. Maybe even a promo because it's usually 65, um, but right now it's 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 a great deal. And I'm gonna I'm gonna dive in. I'm gonna go. Um, uh, I'm going to go through it uh, in its entirety. But I just wanted you to keep in mind because um, I, I'm going to do it in a unique process in a unique way that, that I like to do it um, before anything. Um, that actually works with this theme because it's just it's just the quickest way that I found and this is I'm not saying this is the perfect way to do it but uh, for someone that's just been in the industry for four years and I've just been I'm doing it all day in my life this is just how I do it so I'm, I'm not saying this is the perfect way but for me this is a great way and I think it's an interesting way uh, I storyboard a little differently um, my process is probably a little different than what you've seen but I, I've also haven't seen any videos that have actually broken down the process and um, I've really been thinking a long time of whether or not I should do this but um, uh, hopefully I just hope that it really helps people and helps other freelance designers in a, in a big way and so I'm gonna give it give it my all okay so let's figure out why I think Salem is the best theme out there right now and I definitely do believe that you once you find your theme you should stick with it uh, especially if you're doing WordPress just stick with it and just stay steadfast and work with it. I think it'll give you insane benefits in, in the end, and this is personally why I love Salient. And right now it's even uh, 39, which is I think $25 less than it usually is. Um, yeah, and so let's go ahead and get started. 
So here is their demo pages, uh, demo page overview. Um, and this is why I think it's good to just have, to have your audience in mind, have your target in mind and figure out how you want to, uh, position your brand. It's, 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 you know, great to have that in mind because if you're just starting, um, developing a, a, a site from the ground up can be really daunting and that's why it's good so that you you have these in mind uh, so say if and this is a really easy one because this is what Envato you know catered to from the very beginning or not not Envato I'm sorry uh, Nectar theme Nectar and catered to uh, from the very beginning which was creatives uh, people that had portfolios uh, photographers and um, you know ad agencies or agencies that's who he was targeting from the very beginning. And so you'll see some really, so like if, say you're a photographer, boom. And that, that, that uh, demo is fantastic. Uh, or uh, say you, you know, you have, um, for, and for e-commerce, I'd personally use Shopify unless you don't have that many products and I would, I can, I, I would suggest doing a combination of Nectar and Shopify. But I can get into that if anybody cares. I mean, uh, in another video, if if anybody wants to know. Um, but let's look at let's just look at some demos, just like super fast. Um, to, oh yeah, say if you have a restaurant. I mean, and then um, and then there's different types of business corporate uh, pages. So if uh, I'm gearing this video towards freelance web designers, so freelancers think of okay, well, uh, maybe I want to confront this restaurant across the street. Well, there here is a restaurant that you could literally build a demo for them like really, really quickly. And, uh, and you know, you could try to sell them uh, in that. Or if you have a restaurant that is already in the works, then you can use this as like a demo and then progress off of it. There's many different ways you can, you know, to skin a cat. Um, and, uh, and, and they're, they're absolutely, they're absolutely gorgeous. So if we just look at this one, like the restaurant one, it's uh it's absolutely it's absolutely beautiful and what I, what I like to do is I, I love to take inspiration from it so I love 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 to take inspiration from his demos because he's he's amazing I mean obviously I mean he's one of the it's one of the best themes and one of the most downloaded themes in the world and it's for reasons because this is damn good and it's very flexible and the user functionality is easy and the accessibility is very easily so so check this out so this is the demo right now we took heavy inspiration and this is one of our sites it's for it's called dr bandit's boneless very very similar and very very similar right but this is a wellness site okay now now um and and we took now now it's a full site so I, I let me see if this is yeah this is a one pager which is still awesome and you could still do that as like a as a demo as part of your consultation inside of it so uh, ours is a full full site um that if you go into each of those pages it goes in but we took heavy inspiration from it and why not it, it's amazing and it works and and it, and it and it worked with what we were going for um so that's that's a good example right um, and, and that's why it's like, think about it. Think about how you want to position the brand. Think about how, how to serve your audience better and think about your audience. Um, so like say if there's a band or if you have a band or one of your friends have a band, um, or if there's a larger band, you know, whatever, like a music, music band, um, this is an amazing, uh, like little demo to, to check out and do. And it looks better than like 90% of the other bands out there. Um, and it's pretty quick and easy to set up. So let me give you an example. We use this for our own band. Let's see. So check it out. And I, I, sometimes we even keep the unsplash photos because who the hell is going to tell? And they sold, they look really, really cool. Right? I like it and so that's that's our band that's my brother and I's band uh, and it's and I think it looks pretty cool and we we set it up pretty quick 
and of course with anything like that de with demos they're just demos so you need to fill it in yourself and the biggest thing that you did and i'm going to get into this a little later is is you you know tr always try to do content before design so the demos put the design first um, but just to help you give you a boost they just give you a good kickstart um, from there if the demo does not fit your content then you should redo it um, you should start from your spit draft and I'll explain what the spit draft is in just a second uh, and uh, and then you should start from there and see how the, the design complements the content that you're developing and 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 you know it does do your does does it match the audience does it match the target you know uh, of what they expect okay um okay and this is another amazing amazing um a demo so you can obviously check all this out for yourself but it, it's uh it's incredible and it's fresh right out of the box you can you can you can use it this way and we actually use this for our own site like for LMB um, for for my my company site, and I have no shame in it. I mean, one because nobody else is, is is doing it as as an agency as of yet, um, and I'm sure maybe that'll change after this video, and then we'll have to change things up. But whatever, uh, it's not a big deal. Um, but I, I I love this, and the message still gets across pretty well. So like here, if you take ours. Right, this is our site, and we made sure the content we could, you know, we, we did the spit draft, and it still fit pretty seamlessly with all the stuff that we do: web design, video production, branding, marketing, maintenance, customer service, all that good stuff, right? And it's like, why not? If it if it works, it works, and uh, you know, we made a little video and everything, uh, and, and you know, it looks it looks sophisticated. So, so that, yeah, that's pretty awesome. So I, I just want to give you like several examples that you could definitely apply that I've used in real world situations that can really, really help and uh, give you a great boost. And aesthetically, it's solid and it positions the brand really, really well. And it's all from this theme. I mean, these are, these are totally different industries, all totally different industries, but this theme has done an amazing job of catering to each and every one, right? That's that's why I love Salient. That's a big reason why I love it, is because the aesthetics is extraordinarily flexible across multiple industries with a high sensibility of taste. And I love that. The aesthetics are just beautiful and they're always well-rounded, right out of the box, right? Okay, so let's take a look inside. So real quick, I'm just, we're gonna, just gonna look at, I'm just gonna create a new page on our uh, on my company's website and we'll just say it's like test something and the thing that uh and the and, and theme nectar does use visual composer but it uses uses his own um and i absolutely love it and it's tried and true for so long and you can add elements there's different kinds of elements here right and back in the old days this is all we had to work with this is it and, and, and it was and it worked you know we'd have to design the site out of out of uh, just these elements only and uh, I still do a lot of that but it's great to have the help of Salient's new feature the Salient Studio and this is where I think he separates himself from everybody else because one he constantly update every update almost has a new demo and it almost always has a, a slew of new sections of of these of these little content blocks that are just um, incredible to use. Now, it is it is very difficult to try to successfully make because I feel like it. This this is this is this is a two double edged sword a little bit. It's so easy that you almost overlook developing the content and the spit draft first. So developing the skeleton of the site or storyboarding the site first, and then you do this. 
you what you really should do is go through these first and take a look at them and understand the demos and then develop the content afterwards uh, and I'm sorry d develop the content and then design and then use this afterwards because you'd be like okay I already know so I already know I need I need to already know that I need a hero uh, for the top because I have a headline so say you have a, a problem agitation solution um, which I mean so say you have just a page and then you have um, you know I, I know I need at the at the top of the header gonna want a statement saying that so we just click that it's gonna load and so okay so we got our header okay so but this is in mind that we just think that we already have our our, our spit drafts and then we have our about and I already know where a lot of these things are and I already know how I usually do them um, and how I usually even write spit drafts in terms of copywriting um, now if, if you have if someone else has a copywriter then well then that's even better then you can just look at the copywriting and uh, the text right and you can just uh, build around that which is awesome um, but for more DIY freelancers that's just not that's not always the case so um, and then you know say we want some testimonials at the bottom and then let's see and then we want um, and then say the spit draft says that we need a footer too or maybe let's see let's say we just do a testimonial no, or another type of testimonial and so just real quick and say we and now now you you would put on on the content based on the 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 text that you would want you do preview and look at that i mean that's unbelievable that that never it was never that never used to be possible um like three or four years ago and now now you can um, and I think Squarespace and Wix have, have things similar, but this to me is just on another level of flexibility and aesthetics, even though it's still, even though this deck and theme Nectar has kind of made it as simple as it should be, but not any less, right? Uh, so I love that. And the mobile responsiveness is, is amazing with this theme. So... Now this isn't going to be perfectly mobile responsive because it's not a mobile, but you can kind of tell. You can kind of tell with it. Look at that. I mean, that's fantastic. I mean, just I mean, without doing anything to it. That's 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 awesome. And that's pretty close to how it looks mobile it's pretty darn close yeah and it does a great job now obviously I've already optimized a lot of it so this and this is a you know it's not necessarily like that out of the box you still are gonna have to do a lot of things um, but it, it does um, it still shows you that how powerful this this theme is Okay, so let's talk about the support and response time real quickly. Um, the so it, this uh, salient has two levels of, of support and response. One is amazingly the author and the designer of this theme still actually responds to questions in this in the uh, comment section of the support. So if you click comments, you ask a question, he will actually still respond uh, within 24 hours. But I do recommend going to his actual theme support and buying the theme support um, and just using the th uh, theme nectar .tixi, um, or he, he uses Tixie, which is a uh, software as a service and um, use that instead um, because um, you know usually some usually you do get a little bit faster response time 
and uh, if you uh, if you don't get the answer you want, then you can go to Theme Nectar instead of Theme Nectar being the last or the last like the final resort every single time. Because sometimes it's good to kind of vet the question before um, that, and then usually you just get a great answer. But if you don't, then just use him as like an extra tier uh, to go up even higher. Uh, that way you almost have like a two tier support that you have control over anytime and it just seems to work really well for me um the other thing i want to go over was uh, real quick the customization sorry if this video is so long um and i can like make a, any way longer video about every single section here and i'd love to but obviously this is not what this video is for but uh just some cool features um the accent colors Um, this is uh, this is pretty amazing, and I haven't seen this in all themes. Is that uh, sailing gives you an uh, excellent way to? And, and what's amazing is that when you import the demo content, so like the demo importers here. And this is this is also an amazing feature, right? So look at all these different demos. So once you import this demo, um, it actually it it almost it does the typography, it does the accent all for you already now obviously this won't apply to every single business but it's excellent uh, just to give you a kickstart so what I usually do is that one once we have the branding done we change the accent color and all these uh, are uh, you'll kind of get the hang of uh, what all these extra colors are once you go once you kind of go in and manipulate them um, and this accent color is more of like the global buttons for everything so that's why this is blue and it matches our brand really well so if you want to have continuity and brand, then just make sure that all these colors uh, match everything all across the site in the different places that it actually does. And then um, the header navigation is really cool because uh, for me, I've always known uh, you know, to have these amazing headers and footers that are that can be manipulated in a different way. And even even in even these little different layouts, which can be adjusted on the fly like super easily um, are it is pretty incredible having the logo in the middle and then just just doing this left header literally changes the entire site um, into like a new vibe a new feel right and and it's just the coolest thing um, and on top of that it still has more features um, and then you can you know obviously replace the logo but one thing you do need to remember is that whenever you do replace the logo you need to also replace the transparency logos too because ne Nectar has uh, this amazing, um, uh, like if, if you have a transparent header, uh, then you just need to make sure that you change it, change it in the transparencies as well. Because I feel like a lot of people are like, hey, I changed the logo, but I don't see a change on the site. Well, that's because you didn't go to the transparency and change everything out. Because there's, there's multiple. Um, okay, what else was, uh, footer. The footer is pretty amazing um, and you can totally change again just these little adjustments can totally change the vibe and the feel of your site so that's really really cool and this footer reveal effect is one of the coolest effects that i've ever seen on a page um, and and uh unless you know unless you like the footer uh, footer the way it is um, and then the pay transitions, um, that's a little bell and whistle. So he does have some bells and whistles. Um, so like that, that little swooping thing that you, that you guys or that you can see whenever you like change. Uh, yeah, see that swoop. Okay. That, that's what that is. Okay. Um, and you can change the, you know, from different colors, almost like in a gradient style. So. So yeah, I mean, so that's basically the gist of it. Obviously it has way more functionality than that. Uh, but I just wanted to go into the customization features just a little bit, okay? The final thing, the final thing I wanted to go over is some honorable mentions of like three of my favorite starting points with three of my favorite, um, like I, I consider the mentorship um marketing consulting you know news outlets so digital marketer copy blogger and copy hackers 
I feel like these these guys these if you follow these three you keep studying every single day you will get better and and I think the, this is where this is where most of the the hard work really comes in is is building the audience and building a business and making this is how you make the business run the website run as a business instead of just a glorified business card because all this is great you know all 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 these demos they're, they're great but that's not really what's gonna sorry i'm trying to find the demos real quick all these demos are great but that's not really at the end of the day it's the offer it's the it's what you're it's who you're targeting is the it's a brand positioning that really really separates and makes and, and and makes a difference between someone actually like putting in their email or putting in their credit card or or or, or connecting with you or networking with you whatever you do you know especially if and you know that's what really makes it tick so i put three of my favorite and i feel like the fundamental um to understand um how to how to how to do um, you know just to start with uh, I, I don't want to overburden people with it but i feel like this is a staple that everyone should know because it's fantastic and it's a super long article by digital marketer um, and i'm a huge fan of digital marketer i love these guys they're very very caring and they they really care about their people and they sell the hell out of you too so um, just forewarned but you know all these people do in, in their own ways and and you know what i mean if if they sell well then why wouldn't you want to learn that because that's essentially what you what you're trying to do how to write magnetic headlines fascinating book does a really great job of breaking it down and gives you a ton of great examples of headlines um you know that could just two times ten times anything you're doing um and then finally copy hackers and i always feel like joanna joanna is i'm, I'm a huge fan of hers uh, joanna webb She's an amazing entrepreneur. She is on top of the game right now and she's killing it. And her book, Where Stellar Messages Come From, it's, you know, I still feel, deep down in my heart, I feel like it's a little advanced, but I still feel like if you work on it and you read it and, you know, you work on these three things, I just, they're just such a, all these are such a great foundation. Again, I don't have any affiliation with any of these. I wish I did. That'd be awesome. But I don't. Um, this is literally just... You know, this is your choice. I mean, um, uh, this is free, but you have to put in your email. This is free, but you have to put in your email. So this is free uh, content. So, uh, but again, I don't have any affiliation with that, but I think these are really, really great things to have. And I mean, just to cut through all the bullshit, um, I feel like these three are just like the essentials that you would need if you really wanted to just up your game really, really quickly. Um, so I wanted to give that. Uh, and to you guys and see what you thought and um, and uh, hopefully helps you. Okay, so let's go over a spit draft real, real quick um, because I said I was going to explain it. And basically uh, w what you'll find when you're developing or writing copy for the site is the most important things are benefits, features, advantages, and the formula for how you want to structure the site. And I don't not to overcomplicate things before you even start, but I'm just um, trying to give you what, what I feel like is is ultimately what you will have to get to. But the easiest way to think about it is just like is is just just first think of just benefits and features of what, of the service you're trying to offer, and then just just the easier way to think about it is you have say you have a formula, and the easiest formula to use and still probably one of the most widely used is the uh, problem agitation solution um, formula. So if you just think about it from the very top, so say you have, uh, this, is, this is the actual text of the page. So this is ours that we used on our homepage um, that everybody could see of my company's website. And uh, we have a problem here, right? There, here's the main problem. Someone, uh, this is the target audience. Um, we call them aesthetic Arthur. <laughs> And the problem is they have a worthless website, right? Okay, so that agitation, we need to agitate that problem a little bit. And what's the agitation? So the agitation of that problem 
is brand positioning. They don't understand brand positioning. They don't know how to do that online, right? And then, so we've written a headlines, and it's good to write 10 to 20 headlines, and this is after I've kind of filed it down a little bit. And and I also use um, the the book that I'm going to mention, uh, the free ebook that I'm going to mention. Um, it's not my book. It's uh, a copy blogger's ebook um, that you can get if you want. But this is some of these is where I got it from. And you know, see how easily we can make your better shows. Do you recognize these three death rattles from your? So these are just ideas. These are just ideas. Um, and how to position your brand so it is. So it's your image, that kind of thing. Um, and that's what a spit draft is. It's kind of like, you know, I'm, I'm kind of spitting down like a draft of what I think it will look like, the text will look like before you actually uh, write the text. Um, not n um, And then here's the body, uh, the text here uh, um, underneath this headline. So we hear it all the time. We can't find someone to actually ask the right questions, sit down, talk about it to us. Okay. And then here's the second problem. Then we agitate it. Here's the kind of the logic of the problem. And then here are the headlines for this logic. And then again, here's the body. And then here's the solution. And the logic, brand position examples. How to position brand and and. And then here's the second solution. So this is just to give you an idea um, of of like what a spit draft is, what what some bullet points we worked with before we actually put it on the site. Um, and we didn't use all of this, but this is just one of the draft examples that just so you can see what a spit draft is. And so that's what. And then just so you have like an idea of what a problem agitation solution um, spit draft actually looks like. Okay. Um, so I hope this helps. Um, I'll leave this so that people could just make a copy of it if they want. And um, that way you can just reference back to it. And that way you just know what a spit draft is. Because ultimately, honestly, if you are a web designer, I really feel like these days you need to also be a copywriter. Um, or at least try your best to understand copywriting. Um, and whether you're working with a copywriter or not, but I feel like a lot of people are probably going to be DIY when they're looking at this. Um, so it makes you just it makes it a lot more powerful if you yourself um, are the copywriter, and you just know at least the ba the basics of it. Um, especially if you're writing a blog or or any of that, or doing YouTube videos or or any of that stuff, or uh, you know developing service pages for another client. Okay. So now uh, let's go to let's go inside the um, the website, the uh, salient. Okay, so I'm back just to have a few words on Theme Nectar, uh, the author itself, and the mindset of the developer of what how I perceive it because I, I don't actually know if this is his mindset, but this is how I perceived it uh, over the years of seeing it grow. Because there was a time where I, where, you know, there was only two demos. Um, now there's so many and can help with so many of the industries, especially if you're a freelance web designer to start you off on the right foot and to give you a boost and it's fantastic. Um, but to me, this is the genius of Theme Nectar and he takes the best from the themes all across the world, the features of web design, but he doesn't take too much. He doesn't overwhelm you with gadgets. The theme doesn't overwhelm you with elements. Um, it gives you, it gives you just the right amount, many many times, um, because uh, and to work with to really expand. Because all you really need and all to sell and to do well. Is, is things that have almost nothing to do with um, aesthetics. If you have a good standard of aesthetics, it's really more about the offer and putting your content in front of the right audience at the right time and, and messaging and positioning yourself correctly. That's really what's most important. But, and, and Theme Nectar knows this and that's why the aesthetics are at such a high level and the functionality and the accessibility is 
is, is, is at such a at such a fine standard level, um, and it's already high, to where and, and and to where it doesn't want to overwhelm me with the newest gadgets all the time or the newest things, because there was a time where I wish that I was like, man, I wish I had this, or I wish it was more like the revolution slider that like you can do this and this and this, and I was like, you know, I wish you do more wow and snap, uh, crackle pop, you know, across the website, but that's not at the at the end of the day that's really not what's gonna get uh, it may bump your conversion rate like maybe a little bit maybe but you'd have to test it to find out and at the end of the day the only thing that people really care about is is, is what is what the offer really is and what they really get and does it actually solve the problem that's what I've only that's the only thing that I've ever found to actually work that actually people actually really give a crap about does it actually solve my problem? Does it actually solve my issue? I mean, because there's plenty of things out there that is a, you know, that gives us a shiny new object syndrome, and it just may work. But are they are are the audience is are they going to stay committed? Do they actually care? And to me, I think that's a genius of theme nectar, and I've I matured, and that's what I saw in it because there was other themes. I'm not. And I don't want to like downplay any other themes, but I didn't really like. There was a couple where it just it at first it was amazing. I was like, whoa, all these new features I've never seen this before, and like I can manipulate in the front end and I can see all this stuff at, happening at the same time. Only to find myself going back to Theme Nectar and just being awed at the the conciseness of the simplicity and um, how when even when I got back the new template style. Uh, the new block template style was absolutely incredible, and um, and and just the simplicity and the effectiveness of it was astounding. So I hope this helps. I hope this helps you guys. Uh, please like, subscribe, uh, and you know click the little bell uh, so you so you can get the, the videos. Um, this was for web designers again or freelancers. Um, I, I hope it helped you. Please leave a comment. Let me know what you think. I'm thinking of doing um, a couple other videos um, that if, if people like this one, whether you know, um, you know, Shopify versus WordPress, or when should you do Shopify, when should you do WordPress, because I love Shopify. Shopify is amazing. But I think there's a time and a place for it. And um, I also think that you can, there's ways that you can merge the two almost seamlessly. Um, and I've worked with businesses and built platforms that, that do that as well. And, but there's, there's, there's a time and a place for each, you know? So uh, let me know what you think. Uh, I'd love to uh, get anyone's thoughts on it. Um, and um, hope you enjoyed. And thank you so much.